Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a short little guide on Bloodhound. It's not gonna be anything long. It's not gonna be some mega crazy thing. These are just some very small tips that you may or may not know, and they make the difference when you play Bloodhound. I can explain also the differences between controller Bloodhound, PC, and uh, mouse keyboard Bloodhound, and, and in my opinion, like I said, I think you'll find them pretty crazy. Oh, wait, sorry. Killed one. Kill two. Kill three. So, <clears throat> to start it off, uh, Bloodhound's obviously the legend in Apex. Everybody knows. The tracker, so you know, as you're running along, no abilities, just passive. You can see footprints on the ground. You can see how long ago they were there, up to 90 seconds. Just walking, you'll just find that. If someone was there within a minute and a half ago, you'll see that they had a track. So that's just how that's going to go. The longer you follow, you know, they might, the time might dwindle. It might just, you know, be closer and closer, maybe 80 seconds and 75 then 60. The actual ability of Bloodhound, the tactical ability is called Eye of the Allfather. And basically is a scan that will reveal hidden enemies. Um, it could be people behind walls. It could also be traps and it could also be uh, loot ticks, whatever. Uh, so obviously walking into a building, <clears throat> you're not even walking into it, but walking up to it, uh, you'll scan and you know, it's going to just do like a big, you know, kind of UAV looking thing. And obviously where you're looking is where you're scanning. So where, what you see is the field of view of the scan. So it's not going to be behind you looking this way. You're scanning ahead. Um, you know, walking near a building, don't even go inside yet. Scan it first, obviously. Uh, the only time that a scan isn't going to work is when you're versing a catalyst. The catalyst will put up a big black wall thing and basically you, your scan can't penetrate that. Even if it does, it's a bug. So you got lucky. So then the passive ability, obviously we talked about tracker. That's the one where the footprints appear. And the ultimate ability is beast of the hunt. <clears throat> and in my opinion, beast of the hunt is the difference between a controller bloodhound and a mouse and keyboard bloodhound. I'm a mouse and keyboard player. I've been playing bloodhound for multiple seasons now. I think of myself as a blood, like when I, when I play Bloodhound, I am for the team. I am not for myself. And that is the difference, I, in my opinion, on controller players most of the time. Um, the ones I play with that play ALGS on PC and stuff, and uh, even if they're a controller player, PC obviously a controller player, they play, they get in Beast of the Hunt, they're moving fast, they're opening up for their team with the super speed, and they're getting in there and they're just shooting people. They, they actually forget to scan a lot of the time. Is when you have Beast of the Hunt, you're fast. The, the world in front of you is gray, and enemies will appear in red, or things will appear in red if they're important. In my in my experience, controller bloodhounds they run in, they open up, they you know get a pick or they don't, but they're basically using they're kind of hindsight like they're kind of uh, they're kind of tunnel visioning, and they're trying to get a kill. They're not scanning for their team because you get your scan fast as like you get it back really fast when you're in Beast of the Hunt, so you can scan a ton more during that like that 30 second period versus whenever you just have it without Beast of the Hunt. So a mouse board. and keyboard player like me, and I've been playing Bloodhound for a long time, I think the difference in my Bloodhound, I'm a team-based Bloodhound. Um, and what I do is, you know, I, I ult or whatever, I'll scan first and then I'll ult to get that scan out of the way because then I'll just have a short cooldown on another scan. Um, a scan and I open up the, you know, obviously all my teammates can see what's going on in front of me. They can see the enemies that I've, I lit up through the walls and it'll highlight them and i'll kind of like use that I, I kind of use that in like phases scan move up scan move up like you know what i mean so if i'm pushing a building i'll scan the building it'll be highlighted for a good little bit and i'll depending on the situation you see three people maybe two of them are just mega distracted the other guy's kind of like maybe healing or something like because you'll be able to tell based on their body shape what they're doing um you kind of maybe play off that so obviously like if you see two people distracted and there's just one guy and he's kind of maybe half ass holding something that'll be a good opportunity for you to push him and i'll i'll kind of do that but i'll make sure to scan again uh before i do it unless the situation is just so off like it's so easy the situation could could like be completely in your favor and they could just be completely out of position and you might be able to just catch one most of the time they're holding and they know you're coming so because you're also loud I'll scan and I'll use it to move up slow and slow and I'll just keep scanning because more important me, more important than me getting a kill or dying is a mouse keyboard, you know, close range, the mouse keyboard isn't the most consistent, like obviously controller, you know, you have a little advantage on that. I'll play for my team more. I will scan more. I will scan to get everybody else close and in this situation versus me just scanning to go in and get a kill. 
and that's the difference i think so i'll scan push up see what the situation is um maybe try my hand at shooting something and see like if i if i have a chance to knock the guy and if i don't obviously i'll scan and i'll keep scanning and if my teammates need help any at any point i i can move really quick and i can get to the i can get to the situation and help. controller bloodhound in my opinion does less of the scanning for his teammates and more of trying to get in there and get a kill um and using the speed and the close range SMG or wingman or whatever they use and trying to get that knock versus uh versus me trying to like play off the position and try to play it a little smarter but like weaker in the sense of mechanical skill because obviously I'm playing based off of what I see and, and kind of like other things that my team has going on so I think that's a big difference in in ults when when you're dealing with two different types of bloodhound players there's a setting that you can have that will enable your bloodhound whenever he goes in the ult he like kind of backs up from his own vision and it like extends it like the fov will increase you can change that setting up to you if you want and the maximum distance that you guys are going to scan with the with the bloodhound tactical is going to be 75 meters up to 75 meters you're going to scan and that's what's going to hit something or it's not and then it's 125 degrees and i'll show you guys the difference when you have the setting that will enable your fob to change based on ult or not all right so this is the setting right here guys that's going to be scaling your ability so or your fov whenever you use your ability so in bloodhound when i talk about the uh <clears throat> when I talk about you popping your ult, look at look at my screen. Look what is visible. On the left, you see a corner of a purple armor. On the right, you see the target dummy over here. Right? Alright, so... When I use it right now, it remains pushed out. You guys see that? This is what happens when you go Bloodhound Bolt. It zooms you out a tiny bit and that is the difference so it obviously enables you to have a little bit of a wider vision you can you can like that because the more you see the better your information you know you, you can't miss something less chance um but obviously it's a different sensitivity because obviously you're pushed back the fov's changed it does affect your sensitivity all right so guys i'm going to be changing the fov ability scaling right now we're going to apply it so now looking in the same spot i'm behind this thing i marked it up with this that's how i know um Obviously we can see on the right, we can see the uh, the character underneath the, on the other side of my webcam over there. And then the purple armor on the left. And so when I use it this time, it stays the same. Everything is the same. Obviously nothing's changed in the sense of my sensitivity because my FOB has not changed. So things will move left to right at the same speed that they were instead of it being zoomed out and it changing just a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's the difference between the, uh, the FOB abilities ability scaling and i don't know what other characters do it i'm just I'm trying to remember but i just know obviously the bloodhound does so use whichever one you guys like and uh yeah i feel like a lot of the most important things with bloodhounds is going to be playing for your team scanning and for for your teammates to be able to move up on their positions rather than just doing it for your own good obviously getting in the getting in there alone and uh you know fighting provides a distraction for your teammates to then like come forward or whatever and so then you know it helps in that sense for them to move up but i think it's better to scan and you know try your hand and kind of distract but mostly stay alive and i think that's the most important thing uh it takes 1.8 seconds for the ability to activate and this is going to be the, the the eye of the all father so the scan but when you're using beast of the hunt it's going to be eight seconds the activation time is faster at eight seconds and 0.9 seconds so you'll be able to get it back eight seconds faster rather than 25 seconds whenever you do it without ult and you get it you get to use it quicker 0.9 seconds faster the tracking will last for three seconds on each person that's just these are just little facts and blurbs when you guys are in beast of the hunt it will last 30 seconds uh, and then it'll immediately shut down if you guys get down at all. When you guys down an enemy in Beast of the Hunt, um, depending on where you are in the timer, like if your ultimate is almost like already out pretty much, or if it just started, whenever you down someone, it'll add between five or 15 seconds. Um, and then while active, obviously, the Eye of the Allfather cooldown, which is the scan, that's gonna be reduced to only eight seconds instead of 25, and the activation timer is, re is reduced. 0.9 seconds so it's super quick scans and they happen far more often than every 25 seconds without the ult so that's why in my opinion it's good to scan constantly rather than risk your life and allow everybody to kind of work together rather than go in and do it solo um and it also increases your speed by 30 percent which is like you know you're moving quick and everything else is gray and then enemies are highlighted in red enemy footprints also in red another cool thing about bloodhound is you're going to be able to hit beacons um there's 12 survey beacons on a map at any given point and your interaction with the survey beacon will only take seven seconds. Obviously you're kind of like locked in at, after like a good one to two seconds, 
So you're going to take the damage if someone shoots you no matter what until you're done or until it kind of shuts down or whatever. But yes, you can scan the survey beacon and re you will reveal the next circle location. And that's a recon perk with Bloodhound. So that's just a little Bloodhound tip. That's the difference between a controller Bloodhound and a mouse and keyboard Bloodhound, in my opinion. And yeah, you know, play it how you want. I think uh, it's good to remember to get scans off and to uh, play your life as Bloodhound because I think you have an important role as being like kind of like a UAV on the team. And I feel like you'll win more fights with your UAV lasting versus dying. Enjoy. You know, let me know if you guys want a guide on something else. And I know it's like obviously not the best of guys. Like these aren't these aren't tips that are going to make you better instantly. But I do think that they will improve your gameplay. And let me know if it did help. So that I know if it did work. And I can be confident about doing it again with something else. All right.